Hey everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here. Let's play some Civilization VI. So we're playing Civ VI here in 2020 with the August update now live just a few days ago. See how these tweaks come into play. We have uh, both expansion packs installed and we're going to do a new game. We did a cultural victory on Deity last time and I was talking to Lance and we have come to the conclusion that uh, it would be fun to try a science victory. So I'm going to go to Deity and I'm going to go to Advanced Setup. We're going to be playing with all the expansions, those rules. I like to have lots of city-states. Um, disaster intensity is fine in the middle. Continents map is just great. Um, small map, sure. Um, you know what? Let's go for a standard map. That's fine. Now we'll have eight sieves. Totally fine. And I'm not going to try this new mode that conceals and randomizes a bit the techs and sieves. I'm going to do standard uh, until I get my head around the game. I think this provides an interesting option, but I like also being able to plan for which techs I get and in which order. So here's the seed if you want to play along. And... Here we go. Who do we get? Who do we get? Random leader, roll the dice. Let's see. We get the Germans. All right, so we are Frederick Barbosa. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, the Germans are good at science. Although, um, I won't be probably using a lot of his stuff, but you know the other thing that the Germans are awesome at? Um, yeah, they're great tradesmen over there, and so they have this Hansa, and so the production bonuses should come in extremely handy when we're trying to build the stuff for the space mission. Alright, so here we go. One, two, boom. All right, this is a fine starting point. We are on the coast. Um, let me look at my tiles. All right, so if I go here, yeah, there's really, really, there's a 2-3 and a 2-2 two, two tile. So those are really good to have. Um, and then the mountain is close enough for us to build our science district like here or here um, and get the bonus for the adjacent mountain I believe that's how we want to do that all right so um, a unit needs orders huh well settler why don't you um, found a city yeah we're gonna well do I want to remove the woods it's not a problem, do it. And there we go. We keep a wary eye on the nearby river. So we get a bonus because there's a, a river that can flood above us. Um, and gaining a city on the coast gives us a boost to sailing. Uh, I am going to rename this city. Um, Yeah. How about Cyan City? Cyan City. You get it? Cyan City? It's kind of a fun, please don't lose the game title. All right. So Science City reminds us what we're doing. I'm also going to open up the uh, map tax and I'm going to... Um, Uh, no, 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 I'm not trying to search. No, that's, I meant to do, oh boy. Um, I'm going to put down, um, you know, that maybe we want 
the science district either here or here just to remind myself not like i need a reminder but you know it's fun just to put these tacks down it looks good it looks like i have a plan which i like to pretend and then i should be clear this is kind of like a blind playthrough of a science victory on deity never done it before actually the last playthrough with the culture with the maori on deity was my first deity win my first culture win with both expansions so you know kind of learning as I go. If you're watching along and you have any advice for me about how to more optimally achieve the victory condition or just be a better Civ player, my goodness, I'd appreciate it if you could put those in the comments below. That would be fantastic. So I can just get better. All right, so I'm going to explore with this warrior and I'm gonna just kind of look over here, see what we got. Choose research. Well. Um, we'll open the tech tree. We need to get to writing, so we'll do pottery. Um, and then choose production here at the city. We're going to go with a scout to look around. Alright, warrior. Um, we can cross the river. And I think I will. It does take your whole turn to cross that river. Alright, so... Let's just walk. Oh, we found the coast. Um, that's fine. I'll go right here. Okay. So my this perhaps with this ice could indicate that we are at the, the northern extreme of the map already. All right. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to step onto this hill so we can get a good view. Get more sight being up high on that little hill. I'm going to wrap around. All right. So... Already, there is, you know, some potential sites for new cities. Um, you know, maybe we want to settle there. I don't know. It's possible. Got the mountain for the science. All right, I'm going to move down here. I need to start... I want to keep this guy close to home so that I don't get run out of town by barbarians right at the beginning. That's always embarrassing. All right, and now we can choose production. I'm going to get a slinger going. And then let's have this scout look around. We got some, we got some desert on the Rhine. All right, unit needs orders. Well, it's this guy. Why don't you peek around here? Okay, Scout, you can go over here. Next turn, everybody. Mexico City. Now, I don't... We weren't the first to find Mexico City, so that's a little alarming. That means somebody is, you know, around here. But that happens. All right. Let me then just kind of push over here and see if I can get a good view. All right. Lots of empty desert space here for us. Exciting. Oh, and we found another city-state that we were also... Oh, no, we were the first to meet um, Vilnius. And so that's actually good because they give us um, plus two culture which is so strong for getting Code of Laws up. And I wasn't planning on building a um, religious district right away. So that's nice. What hurt you? I wonder. Oh, there's the goodie hut. Bam. Hey, we got an envoy. Great. Um, what would... Oh, man, we get just for wonders, buildings, and districts. Still, that's exceptional. Yeah, let's get that envoy placed. Um, let me turn this off. Sorry about that. All right, there's the two city-states by us. There's really a lot of good places for us to settle. And I'm only thinking in terms of... Um, science, but... 
you know, this is a good tile here. Let me throw down something here like that. Just to remind myself that's a good place for a settler. All right. We're kind of, I, I love these city-states like running interference for us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we gotta bring, we gotta come home. We got a problem. We got barbarians up in the corner that have seen us and we got barbarians here. Um, I'm actually not gonna fight it. I'll let leave it to the city-state. I'm gonna kind of poke around and see if I can find, um, you know, another goody hut or a continent or something like that. Cool. All right, now we can mess with uh, I'm not going to mess with God King. I don't need the faith right now. Getting a religion up is not a huge deal for me. It's cool, but um, all right, there we go. There's the other continent. We found it. Let's just take a look. Choose civic. Um, we'll do well. I will do foreign trade because we have the boost to it. Oh my gosh. We're already flooding. Major flood. Well, luckily it's not really that close to me. Um, I'm going to still need you to come back home. The slinger is almost done. Let me look around over here. All right. Good. Um, we need to make a settler pretty much now. I'm going to send this slinger up here to get in position. What you got? There's a goodie hut. Fantastic. So much of the early game is just trying to explore so you don't get this dark age to start out. If we can take down these barbarians, it'll also give us the points that we need, the age points. Here he is. And so he's got the exclamation point, meaning like I've seen you and I'm going to report your presence to my buddies at their camp. He might be cut off from his own world. Um, let me just see if I can get a shot at you first. I can. Remember, we have the plus five from the policy card. So we can soften them up for free there and then almost kill them. Oh, no, we killed them. Now that's an amazing victory. Promotion available. Uh, woods and rainforest is perfect, considering we're in the rainforest. Um, all right. Let me get this out of the way. All right, and so now we have some more people to deal with. Um, there's nothing here. This is just the coast. So let me try and bring you back this way, I suppose. All right. Yeah, he's standing on that hill. That's kind of it's kind of rough. So I'm going to fortify and um, I'm going to go here. I can't shoot this turn. All right. Oh. The second warrior was not what I had anticipated. Um, how you doing here? Stalemate still? Alright, well, I might step back then. Okay, now they're going to attack. I was fortified, so I don't know how much help that's going to be. Naval units, trade routes... All right, good enough. Um, okay, so I think you can kill this unit here. We can do some damage, 
right? And then can you... No, that doesn't work out very well. We might lose the Slinger. That might have been a mistake. Um, I'm still going to attack just to pray that we can take off enough strength so that they can't kill the Slinger. I'm going to go with Craftsmanship. Hey, there's Cleopatra. How you doing? It's so nice to meet you. Your hospitality would be amazing. And we got the boost to writing right away. So that's before we researched it, which is great. Um, let me um, send a delegation. Perfect. All right, let's see. He didn't attack my slinger, which is good. Oh, wow, we took him down. Whoa! This warrior is, like, the grand champion. Um, can I rename you? Oh, it doesn't look like I can. I was going to be able to hope I could just name that unit something special because he did such good work, but... Alas. Alright. Um, I'm going to move this person back here and just fortify until healed. Alright, well we took care of that small little threat there, and that's amazing. Alright, so let's think about how we're living. We've got some nice togas on. All right, we got writing. Um, I'm going to turn off the yield icons just to clean up the map a little bit. And then we do have writing done, so it's time to pick some new research. Um, what would benefit us the most? We have mountains. Um... Honestly, I mean, irrigation for this is okay, but let's go ahead and get mining. I'm going to have you kind of, I want to find this barbarian camp and crush it. It gives, it would give us a big boost. Need more housing. Get real. There we go. All right. Um, there is the bad guy. Boy, they've got a lot of units. This is like an unreal barbarian situation. Alright, I'm gonna um, just auto-explore. Boy, that was not the way I would pick for auto-explore. Going back across massive grounds that you've already covered. Alright then. You know best. <laughs> Alright. So they get a free hit on me. And that's fine. Let's finish this off. Boy. I mean, just ridiculous. I've already killed a scout and two warriors and a slinger. So that's four units, and here's two more, and I still don't see their camp. It's kind of vomitous, if you ask me. Oh man, did I get outplayed there? I didn't realize that the Slinger could move and attack like that. That might be... God, I might have lost the game because of that. I don't think so, but that's really, really brutal. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to have to buy... Um, another Slinger with gold just to defend myself. i got to root them out. They're... Just causing all kinds of problems up there. Pretty unreal. Alright, that's fine. Just skip. I'm going to get my um, settler over there. I think I'll get some... Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's fight first. 
see if we can take this take this down. There we go. Now we got archery boosted. All right, I'd love for you to settle up here. So let's go for that. Um, and a trader is cool, but let's get the campus going, right? Um, we can remove the rice or we can wait till we get this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it here. I don't care about the rice that much. Um, all right, so the question is, can we keep moving along? Here we go. So this gives us a nice shot at this barbarian warrior in the woods. And we can move here. It will take the whole turn, but it will protect the settler let's just get this settler up here if we can all right they're going this way but we should be totally good and we are all right we got mining online um let me just finish it with this so maybe i can upgrade both units eventually and i want this guy to be able to move all right so settler move here what's the point why are they... Look at this. What kind of barbarian palace is this? I cannot believe just the endless flow of barbarians. My goodness. All right. Um, what's the bonus? Why do you want me to settle here? It has fresh water. Well, if we can weather this storm of infinite barbarian troops, I think we'll be fine. It's just no problem. Um, I will settle here then, <laughs> just to get some protection right away. I'll move this dude here eventually. Um, I'm going to promote this guy. I like how Garrison does not give you a bonus if you're inside a city. And unless the city is considered an improvement that provides combat defense strength. Whatever. We'll take Bali. That's fine. Um, okay. And then... Yeah, I'll go bronze working. I mean, I need weapons to defend against these hordes. All right. So this is the new city. What, what can they build? Um, either one. Let's get a trader going between our two cities. Get a little extra cash. All right, everybody. I think this is a great place to stop this episode. We did get our first city. We're building our first science district. We have barbarian problems but we should be okay as long as we don't get some like cleopatra coming from the south to level us we'll see how it goes thank you so much for tuning in to this first episode of let's play civilization 6 with the august update here in 2020 going for a science victory in deity i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel could you please do so i'd really appreciate it I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys in the next one when we see if we can get rid of all these red scary units and, you know, just flourish and get to our research. That's what we're trying to do, just research. But no, barbarians won't have it. I mean, this guy has a skull on the end of his staff, and he might be wearing a skull, so I don't think he's going to be interested in that at all. All right, everybody, take care.